so far this year, we've seen some audacious cyber attacks. In the past, hackers might steal passwords, credit card information. Now they take oil pipelines hostage, shutting down the supply of gasoline to the East Coast. This is a new world where companies need to spend a lot more money shoring up their digital defenses, which brings me to Deep Instinct. Now, this is a privately held cybersecurity company that's emerged as a leader in what's known as deep learning. They use artificial intelligence to prevent cyber attacks, especially so-called fileless attacks that are very difficult to protect against. According to Deep Instinct, they can predict and prevent any kind of threat while covering every endpoint, all at a lower cost than traditional solutions. Sounds intriguing to me, but we need to learn more. So let's check in with Lane Best. He's the chairman of Deep Instinct to get a better sense of his business and the cybersecurity space. Mr. Best, welcome to Man Money. Well, thank you very much for having us today, Jim. Appreciate it. Okay, so Lane, you were uh, former CEO of Palo Alto, president CEO of Zscaler. We've had them on many, many times. We've talked about the evolution yes. of cybersecurity and cyber threats. What can Deep Instinct do uh, that I know comparisons may be odious, the others can't? Well, it's a very important point. Really, the first opportunity that we provide is prevention as a service. This is actually a new category that we're creating. I look for trends in cyber and my last few companies, which you referenced, were companies that created platforms that did, in most cases, what other cyber companies weren't doing to date. Um, the reality of how we do this really depends upon deep learning, which you referenced already. It's an autonomous set of learning and teaching algorithms that are built upon a platform. And it's analogous, if you think back to when Yahoo and uh, they first began in search, they required manual indexing of the internet to search. And then Google came along with sophisticated algorithms to crawl and search faster and more accurately. The same exists here in comparing more traditional machine learning models used by CrowdStrike and Sentinel-1. We simply can find this and prevent this when it comes to cyber threats. Well, it sounds like that you have tremendous conviction in yourselves and that you offer a ransomware warranty of up to, to $3 million if a customer gets hit by ransomware. And almost more important, maybe, is the false positives greater than 0.1%. You'll refund up to 150% of a customer's annual spend on our software. How can you do that without going broke? Well, it really is all about creating a robust prevention platform. Um, you know, Deep Instinct could have prevented all the critical infrastructure and service threats we've recently seen. We actually focus, focus on the pre-execution of ransomware or other cyber threats. You know, if you take a look, you know, in recent independent surveys, 70 percent of CISOs are convinced that they're going to be hit by ransomware attacks. You know, we are so confident in our prevention service capability that we even offer customers this warranty. And in our mind, that's what a service is about. You know, a warranty, a guarantee behind what you promise. Okay, uh, I know you were able to lure my friend Heather Bellini, who was a partner at Goldman, to come over to Deep Instinct. To me, that means, well, hold it, there could be a possibility of a public offering someday. You have raised a lot of money already, though, right? We, we have indeed. In fact, uh, we just recently raised over $100 million led by BlackRock. Uh, Black, BlackRock itself had the conviction and vision of our you know, prevention as a service platform. Uh, and you know this money will fuel the growth and acceleration of the company. Uh, we estimate maybe 24 to 36 months to enter public, public markets, but the reality is uh, we're seeing our business accelerate so much because of all the cyber attacks, it could be sooner. Now, I know I often judge a company by their uh, clients. You have NVIDIA. NVIDIA can have anyone. You have T-Mobile. They can have anyone. How did you acquire right. such incredible marquee names? Well, the NVIDIA acquisition, uh, in terms of acquiring them as a customer, came that they recognized the deep learning capabilities that we actually developed upon their uh, GPU platform. Oh. This was extremely interesting to them, and, and that led to a lot of other opportunities as well. The amount of calculations and sophistication in the deep learning technology is significant, and most other companies really can't do that. Even the ones that claim they ingest uh, you know, malware into their cloud, uh, they can't do this as fast as we can. And I'm going to go back over what you said. A lot of people I've asked, can you make the claim that you could have stopped certain uh, intrusions mm -hmm. like Colonial? Most are reluctant to even go there. You seem so confident. Is it 
Do you have something that, that actually outwits the bad guys? Well, in order to develop a deep learning platform, you actually have to know how to go on the attack. And you have to build these sophisticated algorithms such that they can outsmart the bad guys. So all of this went into the development. And what I look for is platforms that are built from the ground up. In the case of Deep Instinct, they actually had to design a deep learning capability based on their knowledge, know-how, and you know, quite frankly, some very unique talents that they have within their engineering team. Wow. Well, I've got to tell you, I am very excited about your company. Uh, everything I hear about it is it's just, it's dazzling. And uh, you wouldn't be with NVIDIA if it weren't dazzling. Those are about the well, best guys there is. So, well, Jim, I, you know, I'd like to also, you know, share and leave a thought with some of the viewers. Um, you know, imagine if Moderna or Pfizer had created a vaccine two years ago that could have predicted right. and prevented the pandemic. Deep Instincts created a cyber service that's analogous to a vaccine against ransomware and sophisticated cyber well, attacks. Well, look, you can't do better than that. That's what we need. And I want to thank you for coming on. Lane Best, chairman My of Deep Instincts. Guys, it's currently a private company. But boy, is it an exciting private company. Bad Money's back in for the break.